Welcome back to day two of the Claremont Film Women's Series 3x3 Stop. I am your host, Jordan Robinson. If you guys were hanging out with me yesterday, you know how nail-biting those games were all day across the board yesterday and day one. Now we're heading into day two. These are the quarterfinals. The teams that kicked butt yesterday are going for the big check and the big prize at the end of the day today. So we have España, Spain, who had an incredible showing yesterday. And now they are going against SC Yuanda, the commercial team out of China. A very good, gritty, feisty team, especially that player right there, Zhou. She is a killer inside the paint, and Zong has the handles. This matchup is going to be great, but so are the rest of the quarterfinals. The winner of this game goes on to play an undefeated France team playing in their hometown, in front of their hometown crowd. So this is a great precursor getting ready for a very tough opponent coming up next. But this matchup... Spain killed it yesterday. Okay, so they went two and one. Honestly, they could have went undefeated, but they had a very slow start in the very first game, but finished incredibly strong. One game that comes to mind is they beat China, who we're going to see China the very next game. They play France U24 coming up after this match. But China has won two stops so far in the women's series. How many stops have there been? Two. So they are trying to go 3-0 and o in Women's Series stops. But Spain was able to shut them down yesterday. And that is why they are here playing in the quarterfinals today. SC Uanda has put up a good fight every single time. I think they maybe sometimes get out on slow starts and give teams a little more confidence. But they stay right with teams the entire time. They're led to me by Stervenu, who is their guard. And she usually plays with France and the 3x3 team. So for her to play against France in the quarterfinals, I think that's what she's trying to do. But this game is underway. Quarterfinals are here. And we have a foul. Joe for SC Uanda who's at the free throw line right now. The Wuhan stop, the very first stop of the Women's Series Tour, she led with the most highlights with 24. So she's a bucket getter, and she also has some nice dimes while she's at it too. Kanea driving left, fakes the middle, tries to do a floater, but comes up short. She gets it back in the corner. Back out to Martinez. She has a nice little pull-up, Jay. Spain is also notorious for getting second chance shots. And that's the fancy footwork choreographer that is Alonzo. Nice dish inside. Another foul. And Joga's going back to the free throw line. We're tied at 1-1. Joe gets that one to go. Spain has it on the outside. Ball screen by Alonzo. Martinez takes the bump. Can't finish. She's going to the line now. A couple early fouls here. We've only had a minute to play. If you are new to 3x3, just so you know, it's 10 minutes on the game clock. It's the first to 21, or whoever has the most points when the time runs out. It's only a 12-second shot clock, so yes, they are moving fast on purpose because time is of the essence. Great little hezzy there. Side-sturbing there. 
inside to Kanea. She's been playing a little more post. That's a mismatch. Too small. Oh, nice. Nice patience by Yuanda for Zong to get that lay in. Layup line. Servenu driving left. A little bit of a hand check. Servenu driving, floats it up, rims out. We're tied at four, eight, ten on the tick. Great crossover. Oh, almost an and one by Kanea. Marta Kanea for Spain is a vet when it comes to the 3x3 circuit. They just made it to the quarterfinals at the World Cup, but this is a different team playing here in the women's series. But Kanea has been with Spain's team for a very long time. Every time she steps on the floor, it's like, yeah, you're you're a pro. We know. High post action, the handoff to Kanea. She's going one on one. Tried to do a spin. Zhang knocked it loose, but the one foot floater is good. 6 4 Spain. Zhang has it. Jaya tried to get it inside to Zhang, but Alonzo there to pick it off. Martinez with the floater draws another foul. Seven four, a lot of early free throws here in this one, getting Spain on the board. Alonzo with the high post, great action, great, great curl action. Cucaro able to lay that one in. Spain taking care of business. Reverse lay is good. Woo! That was nice by Stavenu. Bang, bang is right. Two-pointer could for Kakaro. Servenu trying to hit the two. She's doing it all. She is not ready to go home. Lonzo out to Martinez. Steps back right inside the two-point line. That's a one, but it's good. Count it. Servenu, what you going to do with it? Hooks it out to Jong, who tries to go back door. Stervenu kisses it off the glass. She cannot be stopped right now. Martinez, both of these teams warming up. As we have a timeout, Stervenu really off to a hot start. She is keeping SC Uanda in this game right now on all levels. Shooting it from the two, shooting it from reverse laying, a little bit of everything. She is getting her team involved and making sure they come out on top. But Spain, the thing that I love about their game is the consistency. You know what you are going to get from Alonzo inside the paint. She's shooting over 65% from inside that black square of the key. So knowing what your team is, each player on your roster is going to give you is kind of what keeps Spain so even keeled. Hand off to Kanea. A little bit of weave action. Spain is very, very good at this. Kokaro says, I'll take that. Give me two of those.
Spain starting out this game lights out. This is pretty much opposite of their showing in their first game yesterday. They came ready to compete. Spin moves on. Way to slither in there and get that one to go. But this is a mismatch. Fake spin. Oh, Kanea gets her own rebound. Reverse lay. How about it? The effort by Kanea from Spain. Jaya gives it to a cutting Stadavenu. Wow. Has she missed yet? I don't think so. Kanea trying to do the wraparound pass. Would have been there if it wasn't for the grab by Jaya. Yuanda, just like I was saying, it seems like they are out of it, but they are only down by three points. There's still a lot of game to go here. They could potentially make a run. Zong thought she had a steal from Kokaro. Alonzo at the high post. Looking at Kanea, they go back to Martinez in and out. But look who's there for the board. Kanea brings it out. Alonzo. Great on ball screen for <laughs> an open lay in. Four, three, and white. Zong getting a lot of paint touches. Usually an outside shooter. Tries to flip that one up. That's a no. Oh, this is a lay. This is layup drills. SC Yuanda having has to get more uh, disruptive on defense. Starmanu is handling her business on the offensive end, but a little bit too easy of shots for Spain if you're SC Yuanda. Jaya decided to take it herself. Flips it back to Zong. And there she goes. Two. Four. SC Yuanda. Great screen. Alonzo breaks free. Can't hit the free throw line. Jay. And that goes out of bounds. Yolanda still hovering at that three-point land. Deficit. Oh, and that's out of bounds. Another turnover. Great pass, better finish for Zhang. Oh, shot clock violation. Turnover, okay. Here comes SC Yuanda. Nice drive by Song. Beautiful lay. And now it's a one point game. There's a foul there on Stermanu, but a TV timeout could not come at a better time for Spain. They're clinching to that lead, but SC Uanda keeps creeping up.
incredible crowd there in Clermont Ferrand, France. For day two of the women's 3x3. Carl takes the first free throw, extends Spain's lead to two. It can be three. Can make it. Rebound at CUN to Starvenu. She's been the hot hand. A little bit of spacing. Zong decides to take it and draws the foul. Really being the aggressor here, the two guards, Starvenu and Zong, for SCU and putting Spain on their heels. Inside to Joe. Can't get the roll. Kanea backing down Starvenu. Another mismatch. Oh, can't finish. Starvenu hits it out of bounds. Goes back to Spain. Kanea is playing a quote unquote post player in this lineup. So the height advantage that SCUN gives up, Kanea wanting to capitalize. They keep trying to feed her inside, but a great tip in by Joe. Oh, and they get her for the offensive foul. He can't screen that way. Post action. Oh, Kanea would have cut. She would have been wide open. And there is Alonzo. 17 14, three minutes on the clock. Jaya passes it off to Starmanu, and that is a turnover running out of time is at Cuando see if they can get a stop here to extend the game I believe action Martinez thought about the two decided to dump it inside we get a foul on the pass And this is day two of the women's series. 3x3 Clermont Ferrand stop. These are the quarterfinals. Winners of this game will go on to play an undefeated France waiting for them in the semifinals. Darvenu had to shoot it with the shot clock violation, but got a really great look at it. Martinez off the ball screen, step back. No good. And a holding foul on the box out on Kanea. Foul count is pretty up there, so that's going to send Sionda to the free throw line. Clutch free throws to bring it within two points. Martinez. Oh my goodness. Oh, what in the world? 
beautiful crossover, but Zong attacks right back at Spain. Martinez, and an offensive foul on Kanea. Uh-oh. Nineteen seventeen. Again, this is the first to twenty-one, or when the time runs out. Big possession here for SC Uanda. Sturman who takes it, spins, rolls off the back of the rim. Kanea. Kokaro stops, pops, and she gets called for the travel. You gotta pack a suitcase next time. It's not gonna work here. Martinez back in for Spain. She has been a bucky getter today. Jaya goes back door for Stervenu, but it gets broken up by Spain. Who's ball? Alonso leaving it all out there on the floor. Taking deep breaths now. Stevenu for two. Oh. Multiple times she's had to cast from the logo because of shot clock violations pending. Time out on the floor, 129 left to go in this one. Spain within reach to end it. But SC Yuanda not going down without a fight. Winner takes on France in the semifinals and gets one step closer to that big check and prize money at the end of the day. To leave action. Kanea decides to take it herself.
apologies for those technical difficulties, but we got 20 seconds left in this one. Spain one point away of winning it. But SCUN and Starvenu step back two. No go. Kanea calls game in and out. Looks like Spain is going to run away with this one, but the fight and battle by SC Uanda is something that you just have to tip your hat to. Kanea really wanted to get to 21, but Spain wins it 20 to 17. They are going on to play France in the semifinals. Coming up next, we have France U24 team, the youngins, going against China. That'll come up right after this. Game two of our quarterfinals here at the Clermont Ferrand Women's 3x3 stop. This is China going up against France U24. So far in day one, France U24 had a two and one record on the matchups, and China had a one and two record, but both of those losses came at a combined five points. They were nail biting down to the wire, incredible matches. France U24 had a tough game against, well, you know, France, the national team really handed it to them. Um, but this should be a really great matchup because you have the post presence inside against Maquette for France and then Zhang for China.
Back like we never left. We're tied at one apiece in this quarterfinal game. We have, this is our second quarterfinal game of the day. Spain took care of business. They are gonna go on and play France in the semifinals. And the winner of this game will play Lithuania in the semifinals. A very tough team, but both of these teams are capable of making it to that next level. Lily Wang, the two-time Women's Series MVP, passes it off to Zhang, gets hit on the head. And now we are gonna go to a timeout. crowd is definitely another defender that team china is going to have to get past the flags are a nice touch i will admit montpierre for france u24 has that left hand kind of wrapped up she was grimacing yesterday had to have medical attention come look at it she looks like she's still good to go to play, but we'll keep an eye out on that for the rest of this matchup. Pardon, driving left, flips it inside to Iwandu and gets called for the walk. Wang floats it up, comes up short. Maquette with the rebound. Montpierre, she could shoot it from there. Comes up short, but chases down her own rebound to get another chance. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Three seconds. Montpierre has to put it up from deep. Gave herself a chance, but no good. Lily Wong tries to give it inside. Oh, gets stolen, then Wong steals it back. Wang steals it back. Wong is a shooter. She misses that one, but in day one, she was shooting 54% from the two-point line. Just a assassin from there. Potter Dong tries to flip it up, comes up short. China gets the rebound. They dump it inside. And a foul. Wong gets let off the hook for missing the lay-in. Time MVP, can't get that one to go. Maquette to Pardon, drives right. Hezzy, crossover in the paint, can't finish. Two pointer, no good for China, trying to get the rebound, but they're gonna call a foul on Montpierre. It's a little surprising. Six team fouls for France to one for China. There's still five minutes to go in this. It's going to be a parade to the free throw line if France isn't careful. Turnaround, Jay, short for Huang. 
It'll do. Tries to take for two. No. Two, three. MVP driving blocked by Pardon. Maquette gets it inside to Pardon, and she has a layup. Wayne goes inside. Oh, nice patience there by Juan. China with the lead. Pardon to Maquette. She takes it for two. In and out. China with the rebound, but steps on the line. That's a turnover. Pardon is definitely a hustler. She's going to get after everything that comes in her way. Maquette out to Montpierre. Juan not able to move her feet as quick or as low as Montpierre picks up the foul. Juan grabbing at her toes. I wonder if she's cramping. Il do. Montpierre on the block, rip through jumper, no good. Juan trying to get it inside to Zong and does. Two point lead for China. Mom Pierre tries to drive left, but Wang says, I'll take that, I like cookies. Pardon has it up top, Maquette, back screen, flare screen. Pardon thought about taking the two, but drives it instead, but comes up short on the lay-in. A lot of bunnies missed by France, and that one will not be missed by Zhang. She's too good in there. They feast inside the painted area. Maquette shoots the J and gets it to drop. Cuts the deficit to two points. Wang surveying. The C has parted, and she gets the layup. A low scoring contest here. Only three minutes left. <laughs> the score is three to six. But that just means it is an all out battle. Winner of this game will face Lithuania, who has been scoring lights out. Um, so they better make sure that defense comes with them to the semifinals, either of these teams. Pardon starts the play, steps back, it will do, drives left, a lot of traffic that way, don't matter. Left hand and lay is good. Going inside to Juan, tries to reverse layup, no. Maquette to Pardon, on ball screen, throw it at the rim, Maquette, so. No and one, but a trip to the free throw line has been earned. the handoff almost had the roll looking oh what a pass what a finish for Zhang right at the buzzer just prolific and France throws it away 7-4 lead for China
time MVP checks it up. Shooter can't get that one to fall. Once she gets a blaze, Huang, everybody watch out. But so far, France has been able to contain the fire as Pardon rolls in a fadeaway J. Down by two. Two seconds on the shot clock. Wow. Defense by Pardon. I told y'all she is feisty. She gets after it. Roller, oh. Dong took a shot, but gets called for the foul. Maquette going to the free throw line. And keep an eye on that foul count, six to four. One point lead for China. See if the shooter Huang could get going or just keep dumping it down inside. Zhang missed the lay-in. That is a rare sight. But great defense by France. It will do trying to take it herself and draws the reach in foul. For two, it will do new leader. France U24 takes the lead. And now they have all the momentum on their side, including the crowd cheering them on. One minute left to go. Low scoring contest, eight to seven, but it don't matter. As long as you come out with the most points at the end of the time. Pardon over to Ildu. Bounce pass inside to Pardon. You drop this a dime. Back screen, China. Falling apart. Wang misses the two. Jump ball. Has won. A little shaken up after that play. turnout for day two of the Clermont Ferrand Women's Series stop. 40 seconds left to go. Pardon with the cherry on top of an incredible performance going inside to Young. And that cuts it closer, but France still in Full control of this one. Pardon, can she hit another one? Hits nothing on that one, but 17 seconds left. China has been in so many close games of this tournament. Can they have a miracle to come back here? Need their shooter to get hot. Oh, the flame is out. Browns, U24. 
The big upset to go to the semifinals. Eight points for China has to be a season low for the two-time stop champions. And France, the youngins, with some help from their home crowd, beats China 11 to eight. Defense-minded, defensive-minded matchup there. They're going to go on to play Lithuania in the semifinals. But coming up next, the Big Dogs. Another team with the France across their chest. They are going to play Spain. The next matchup coming up right after this. Let's hear the crowd celebrate.
Okay, here we go. It is the semifinals game one. France, flags in tow, packed crowd behind them. Undefeated in day one, three and oh, are taking on Spain and Guapo and Co. Let's see if they can get it done. They're coming off a silver medal in the 3x3 World Cup. Now they're back to the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Quarterfinal game two, or I'm sorry, semifinals game one, France versus Spain. And we're off. France first on the board, 1 0. That rolls off of Cucaro's foot. After day one, Guapo for France had the most points with 24, but Limousin had a game winner yesterday and is picking up right where she left off. 2-0 France. Yeah. 
Guapo over to Mane. Back to Guapo. She thinks about the two. She pulls it back of the iron. Limouzon, smallest player on the court, still comes up with the rebound. She has that dog in her as she shoots the two. Cash it in. 4-0 start for France. Tanea over to Cocaro. Alonzo with the footwork. Spin move and a foul on Limouzon. Spain still looking for the first points to get on the board. Ganea inside to Martinez. Lay in good. Guapo. Wide open lane. She doesn't take it. She sets the screen, gets the two. Rims out. Ganea, five seconds, four seconds on the shot clock. Alonzo. Turns and no, oh, gets a travel call. <laughs> Thinking she got hit. Mane gives it off to Milapi. They're running the same action that the France U24 did. Guapo wanted the call. <laughs> Stares down the referee. <laughs> In the P, high post, over to Guapo. She drives baseline, gets it through. 5 1 lead. France can't be stopped. Steal by Guapo. She comes back in bounds. And a foul by Alonzo. <laughs> Guapo takes a rest. Limousin back in running the point. Manet on the wing. Serving. Back to Limousin. Back to her off one leg. Comes up short there for Manet. But Kanea snags the rebound. Gets it out to Martinez. Offensive foul on the screen for Martinez. Mouzon over to Guapo. Back screen by Manet. Alonzo with the body check. And one! Can't stop Guapo! Commanding 6-1 lead for France. Guapo at the free throw line to add to it. And she does. 7-1, Martinez trying to go for the kill but can't do it. Guapo calls for the block. Have a TV timeout. If you look back into the back of the frame, Lithuania is getting warmed up because they come up next against France U24. Now, hey now, we're getting closer and closer. It could be a potential France versus France final. If this stays the course of what it's going so far, I think this crowd would go bananas if that was the case. And if you wondered, yes, I am dancing. The DJ is killing it. A 
Alonzo gets that one to go. Monet stepped out of bounds. Turnover there, 6.50 left on the ticker. Garo flips it back out to Kanea. She dribbles to the middle and one. Really takes it to Mane. That is a historic matchup. Both of these players have been going at it against each other for a long time. Here comes España. Trance. Oh, Guapo. Oh, missed the bunny, the left-handed one. Canea on the outside. Spain looks like they have a pep in their step. Mane almost gets the steal. has to force one up and gets it to go off the glass. It's a one point game. This is a 5-0 run for Spain right now. Rejected by Canea, Spain has breathed new life and they are still in this game. Foul count keeps creeping up on France as well. Five apiece. Still six minutes to go. It might come down to some free throws in the bonus if this trend continues. Martinez, Canea, same spot. Fades and misses. But Guapo comes down with the rebound. She's dribbling left hand baseline. Tries to spin underneath the basket and gets it to go. Kanea inside. Alonzo can't finish the bunny. Martinez sees part and she goes straight line drive to the hoop. Still down by one. Limousin with the handles. Gets fouled. Thing about Guapo, when she goes to the bench, you can still very much hear her <laughs> the entire time she is out of the game. Non-stop talking, encouraging, instructing, orchestrating her team, who is up by two points right now. Dump inside for Alonzo and one. Great look by Martinez. Spain not able to really take the lead, but they have really stayed close to this dominant France team. Alonso in and out. France still up by one. Limousin driving baseline. Doesn't like what she sees. Out to Manet. Fading. Gets fouled beyond the arc. That's going to be two shots. 5-10 left to go. One more attempt for Mane. Gets both to go. France still in the lead. Cocaro, Martinez, Canea. Ooh, step back, two-pointer. Put that in 
your bank. Two of them. Spain not going down without a fight. Guapo takes the bump, spins, can't finish. Trying to get it going, but Spain's defense is suffocating on Guapo. Martinez for two, back of the rim. Manet pulls down the board. Guapo back to Manet. Limousin trying to come set the screen. Manet takes it herself, gets bumped, but no call. Martinez over to Canea. 4.20 on the clock. Canea on an island. Step back, Jay. No. Mene at the logo. Gets a screen from Guapo. She has a whole side to herself. She takes the J. Limo's on with the O board. Mane driving baseline, gets hit on the head. Going back to the free throw line, which is where they've been able to score with ease. Timeout on the floor, one point advantage for France. 3.53 left on the clock. Everybody take a breath. Again, this is the first game of the semifinals. Just shows you how competitive this is across the board as the Clermont Ferrand stop, the third stop of the Women's Series Pro Circuit season. The winner of this game will punch their ticket to the finals. The first team to get there. Coming up next, it's going to be the semifinal game two, Lithuania versus France U24. So the crowd is gonna still be able to wave those flags for the next contest. Manet at the free throw line to extend this cross lead. And she does. Foul count really important. Spain sitting at eight fouls. Oh, can't get that one to go. Still two point lead. Spain went on a very nice 5 0 run. Alonzo with the fake. Where'd you go? She lost you. Maybe they're selling maps at the gift shop. Manet step back two. No good. Alonzo with the choreo. Pocaro picks up her dribble, gets it back. She can shoot that. And she does. New leader. Spain. 13-12. Guapo tries to flip it up to Milapi. Stolen by Kanea. Oh my goodness, this is a battle. Kanea shoots it from another zip code, but comes up long. But who's there for the cleanup crew? It's Windex herself, Alonzo. Two point lead for Spain. Guapo not having the best game of the tournament, but Mila P there to clean it up. One point deficit for France. Kanea really put this team on her back today. Driving left, crosses over, spins back, flips it up. No. On ball screen by Mila P. Had the roller, but goes to Manet on the left side wing. Reverse underneath at the buzzer. We're tied at 14. Kanea thought about it. She steps back, wants it back, gets it back, puts it in. Spain giving everything that they have, especially on the defense against Guapo. Guapo shaking her head, not even wanting to go back in. The defense has been smothering on her. Spain comes away, has a one-point lead, but there's still plenty of time in this one. 2.05 to go. Who's going to take it? Who's going to go to the finals at a chance to win the Clermont-Ferrand stop?
Martinez gets it off to Kanea wide open. Not a good idea because she can drill it from two point land. And Spain looking to run away with this one. This would be a huge upset. Spain came into this stop as the number four seed. France came in as the number one seed, but they need that lady to get going right there. Guapo, back of the rim. Picaro driving left-handed. Ooh. I hope she's okay, I saw that. Still gets up and makes the layup on one leg. Looked like she came down and rolled it. But way to finish the play. Four point lead for Spain. Wow. What a turn of events. Guapo, no shot. At least she got to see the ball go in the basket. Could help her confidence come this last minute 18. Spain in the bonus. France has some time, has a chance to get some points on the board while the clock is stopped and they can't take advantage. Gets one for two. Three-point lead for Spain. Kanea. Keep in mind, Spain down one player as Cocaro seemed to have rolled an ankle. Martinez has to put it up. No good, Mane with the rebound. Here's Guapo. Short. Tracks down the rebound, out to Mane. Uh-oh. Oh! She tried to keep the dribble alive, but they call her for the walking violation. I don't know who that was that was guarding her, but she was on ice skates. to Alonzo, she shoots the two. No good, Limousin. 40 seconds left. France has to go. And Guapo misses the layup. I don't know if I've seen her miss this many layups or wide open shots. What a foul means that France Two free throws and the ball. Big, big time play here. Guapo can make both of these and France is able to score on the inbound. It's a one point game. It is a one point game. France is not done yet. It's Guapo time, but Mane takes it. Back of the rim. It's getting good. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Kanea steps back for two. Back of the rim. Fight for the offensive rebound. Mane comes up with it. Guapo drives, reverse lay. Misses it, but Limo's on. Therefore, the lay-in. High game, five seconds left. Kanea spins and gets called for the travel. Time out. France. Oh my goodness. 18, 18.4 seconds left. What a costly foul to send Guapo to the free throw line for two. Make them both. And Limousin gets the putback lay-in. Again, as a reminder, 
Lee Muzong hit the game winning three from the left hand wing in their game against SC Yuanda yesterday. I had to check my notes. 0.4 seconds left. Is this enough time for a pass in and a shot? No. So we are going into extra time. Overtime. Our first overtime of this this Clermont Veron stop. Which is kind of surprising. Usually we get a couple overtimes. But I'll take it. Extra time. France had a, just a recap. France had an incredible start. But then Spain came rolling. They just stayed within three points for about the first five minutes of the game. But then they went on a 5.0 run to take the lead. Then... It says in the left-hand corner that it's Spain and Estuenda, but it is France and Spain right now. This is the chance to go to the finals. Guapo in and out. Again for overtime, it is the first to two points. Kanea drives in for the layup. Guapo open for two, short. But she gets the layup to go. 19-19. Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking. This is a chance to go to the fi the finals. Kanea trapped and a shot clock violation. Got caught under the basket with Manet's outstretched arms guarding her. Manet subs herself out for Mila P. She's gassed, giving it everything that she's got. All eyes are on Guapo. But I would look at Lee Muzal who drives no Mila P with the rebound. Jumper, back of the rim, fights for the rebound. Spain comes up with it. Kanea thought about taking the two, drives it instead, gets fouled by Guapo. Pressure, free throw. And she misses it. Woo! This is a tough crowd. When they are going all in for Frost. Miss them both. Frost still alive. Guapo with the drive. Can't make the I don't think I've ever seen this before. Guapo. Just having a lid on the basket for her. We know how great she is. This game is just a tough one for her, but her team still able to be within inches of winning. France tried to take a time out there. I'm, I'm not sure what exactly happened. Bukaro is in, seems like she's okay. Kanea off one foot, no good. Lee Muzon has it on the rebound out to Manet. Mila P to Manet, driving right-handed, gets the bump and the lay-in. France! Comes out on top, overtime, 20 to 19, and they are in for the finals. What a battle, battle. Guapo doesn't have her best game, 
but Cross still able to run up the score and come together as a unit. Spain, hats off. Brava. Incredible job by Spain. Having close games. Had an incredible showing in the quarterfinals quarter earlier today. Give it up for España. France is in the finals. Who will they play against? Well, we will see. Coming up next, Lithuania versus France U24. That's a hard act to follow. Lithuania undefeated so far at the Clermont-Ferrand stop for the women's 3x3 series. France U24 team is coming off of a win over China, which was surprising. Incredible home crowd advantage for France U24. But this is for the second spot in the finals. Okay, Lithuania, here's what you need to know. Post player Labuskine is an incredible post presence, number 77. But the star of the show, the engine that makes this team go, is Nasakaite. She was the leading scorer after day one with 26 points. She also had 18 rebounds. Two other players were tied with her for 18 rebounds. So not only is she getting a shot up, but she's getting her team second chances and making sure to limit the defense to only one chance. Also, what I want to point out about Nesikaite, she shot 22 pointers. She went seven for 20 for 33%, by far the most attempts. So, scout and report is you gotta run her off the two point line. But it still might not work because she's going to score on you. She's a bucket. But for U24, let's see if they get a stop. I mean, the first play of the game, they're going to their star player. Ain't mad at it. Nessa Kaite, first point on the board for Lithuania. Maquette gets called for the offensive foul, has the elbow straight to the face of Nessa Kaite. Labuskine against Maquette. 
definitely post player on post player matchup. That's one to keep an eye out for. Two possessions, two points for Nessa Kaite. Of course, I talk about her two-point shooting and her first two baskets are layups. Montpierre just driving into the basket. What I love about Montpierre is, yes, she is a guard, but I don't feel like you could tell her that she is not 6'8". She plays a lot bigger than what she is, and the heart and the grit that she plays with is really inspiring. France on the board. Soka Nesakaita pulls up for two, back of the rim, tries to fight for her own rebound, but Maquette able to hold her off. Soka. Nice curl action. Oh, thought Mesconeta got hit, but no call. Montpierre out to Ildu. Pardon. Driving to the basket, but rejected by Labuskene. Denied entry. Pardon has to put it up off one foot. No good. Great block out by Solka. Inside to La Buscane. Nessa Kaita gets the handoff. Fade away Jay on the baseline. No good. Chases down the rebound. Deflects it enough, but France comes up with it. It will do. Cross court pass to Maquette. Pardon. Inside. Nice finish. It will do. La Buscane turning, but a foul on Maquette. La Buscane in her Instagram bio, she says, Mommy Athlete. She has a son. And I'm sure he is somewhere cheering on his mommy wearing that jersey number 77. He'll do. Puts in the layup. We are tied at three apiece. Oh, great seal. Oh, and three seconds in the key. Pardon to check it out. She's going to pass it to the wing, set a down screen for Montpierre, and then she goes inside and comes up short. Montpierre soaring in for the rebound, but comes up short. Solka drives left, tried to hit Mosconeta, and she hits the shot. New leader, Lithuania, again, hasn't lost yet in this stop. Mesconeta tries to wall up France, but gets called for the foul. Pardon, checking it at the logo. Oh, great play. Iwadu puts in the lay-in. Soka on the outside. Shoots it for two. Splash town. Two-point lead. Montpierre steps back, two-pointer on the way, count it. Oh, great feed, beautiful pick and roll, La Buscane. Foul on Pardon. Coneta 
checks it against Potadon. 6.57 on the clock. Oh, great feed inside. La Busquenet is feasting inside the painted area. 8-6 lead for Lithuania. Pardon surveying, passes it out to Ildu. One second on the shot clock, flips it up and beats the horn. Navaskaite, back of the rim. But what a rebound by Mesconeta. Pardon did not clear the ball past the two-point line. And that's going to send us to a TV timeout. 7-9. France U24 against Lithuania. Six minutes, 26 seconds to go. This is for the chance to play against France in the finale next. Who's going to do it? Are we going to have a France? against France final Ooh la la. DJ I'm gonna need you to send me this uh, playlist ASAP the music has been good crowd amazing Oh, I thought she said white ball at first, but she said white foul. Sorry. I was very confused. Nesakaite, step back. One foot leg, J. No. Montpierre pulls down the rebound. Pardon. Inside to Maquette. Kisses it off the glass. Mwah. Nesakaite to Mesconete. Driving right handed scoop. Montpierre thought about it, decided to take it, comes up short. Mesconeta. Solka is trying to seal inside, but gets called for the offensive foul. You will do. Oh, nice Hezzy. Lay in for Ildu. France, 024, stolen by Montpierre. Pardon. Ildu driving left handed lay in. That's where she wants to go, but gets stopped by La Buscane. In and out for Pardon. Wow. That looked like that was down. Montpierre fighting for the rebound seems to get the called foul. The foul called on her. France team getting a warning. Did not like foul counts, but then again, who does? Does anyone really agree with when they get called for a foul? Potterdon driving, scoop, and no good, but the rebound by Maquette. We're knotted at 10 apiece. Five minutes exactly on the clock. Stolen by Potterdon. Maquette gets the slasher. Irodu coming full steam ahead. Straight to the basket. Nessa Kaita off the mark. Maquette, no good. Back of the rim, rebound chased down by La Buscane. But a turnover almost. No, no, she didn't clear it. She didn't clear it. That would have been nice. Hey, 
Kaite. Been a little bit quiet since those first couple buckets at the start of the game. Lithuania won the women's series stop in Prague in 2022. So they are looking to get their first women's series stop of 2023. If they punch their ticket to the finals against France. Montpierre driving baseline. No good and a violation. And one. Nasakaite is fired up. New leader, Lithuania, 12-11. The chance for a three-point play. Number six in green. Again, was the leading scorer after day one with 26 points. Can't finish the free throw. Two-point lead. Round C24. Great screen and roll, but a pass a little too high from Paradon. Nessa Kaite, she's feeling it. Stop, pop. No good, but the rebound by Labuskane. He will do a little shaking up. Limping over to the sideline, and we have a timeout. Lebuskene at the free throw line. I miss free throws in this one. It's a close game. These are what they are called, free throws. Gets that one to drop in. Pardon. Over to Montpierre. They swing it around the horn. Great hands by Lebuskene. Disrupts the pass. Neville Skaita rejects the screen. Gets the bounce bunny and Maquette. Oh no, was there a foul? Was there a shot clock? What happened? Maquette is upset. Three-point deficit for France. See if they can get a bucket here. Paradon flips it up to Maquette, broken up by Solka. Paradon, five seconds on the shot clock. Throw it up at the rim. Maquette will go grab it. 14-12. Wide open, wide open screen and roll. What a beauty. Malpierre gets the rebound over Labuskine. Maquette on the block. What she gonna do with it? And that's a, and that's a Kaite fouls from behind.
Pardon, Montpierre shoots the two. Nothing but the bottom of the net. One point game. Oh, Nesakaite had a wide open layup, but decided she wanted to shoot free throws instead. Sakaite, two for two from the free throw line. Two minutes, 36 seconds left. Keep an eye on Iwadu. Seemed like she was limping in the last timeout. Gets blocked there by Nesakaite. Soka driving, blocked by Pardon. Pardon drives baseline and it rims out, misses the bunny. Bodies flying everywhere. Therefore, Lithuania, second free throw here, and the ball possession. They're up to 19. If this stays as is, and Lithuania takes it, a Lithuania-France final, woo! That's gonna be good. That is gonna be good. Warm up the popcorn now. Man, oh man, two undefeated teams will go at it. But France U24 has some fight in them. They are going to give it all they've got as long as they are on this court. Pardon, especially. It will do driving left. She loves to do that. Stops, turns, spins. Doesn't hit the rim. La Buscane out to Nefeskaite. Wide open layup and rims out. She can't believe it. Pardon driving baseline, spinning middle, bounce pass to Iwildu. Can't get that one. Iwildu just doesn't look 100%. Pardon has to flip it up. Iwildu comes down with the rebound. She shoots the two, but passes it inside to Montpierre. Misses the wide open bunny. Pardon out for two. That comes short. Another opportunity. Lithuania comes down with it. Mesonaita gives it to Nasakaite. And games it. That's just what she do. 21-15 win for Lithuania. Give it up for France U24. They put up a great fight to make it to the semifinals. We will not get our France versus France final after all, but we get something even sweeter. Lithuania versus France, two undefeated teams going at it in the finals. According to my schedule here, we're gonna have a, a little bit of a break so that Lithuania can catch their breath before going on and playing again. But the final matchup, come back here. It is going to be France with the crowd, with their flags, with their chants, cheering on. Team France versus Lithuania for the big check and 
we'll get to know who is the MVP of the Claremont Ferrand Women's Series 3x3 stop. It's that kind of opportunity!
de France bête au siècle. Mesdames et messieurs, les équipes, c'est la finale. Je vois tout le monde debout, tout le monde debout, tout le monde debout, tout le monde debout. Si moi je le suis, vous vous pouvez l'être. Allez debout, 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 debout,
It's that time. It is the finale to the Clermont Ferrand Stop Women's 3x3 Series. This is the third stop of the Women's Series Pro Tour. And it all comes down to this. Two undefeated teams, Lithuania and France, going head to head for the big check, the money, all the marbles. It's about to go down. Both of these squads are coming in with a perfect record, but the semifinals were a tough battle for both squads. France went into overtime to ink out the victory over Spain went down to not only the final seconds, but the final shot. Spain had a chance to win it at the free throw line. Canea missed both free throws and kept France alive. So they are breathing new life. This is their hometown, home country, home crowd. They are rooting for France, but Lithuania is gonna go straight to their star, Natsukaite. That's what they did the first game. That's what they're doing this one. First play of the game, they're going to their top score. Number six in green. Keep a lookout for her. But the thing that makes France so great is their length. And Lithuania is able to match them for that, pound for pound. Labuskine driving reverse layup is money. Kickball, Limousin trying to get it inside to Milapi. Hand off to Guapo. Guapo not having her best game in the semifinals. Just missing a lot of bunnies at the rim. But she made two clutch free throws to get them into overtime and they, she gets that layup to drop in. We know Guapo is not gonna have two bad games. It's impossible. She is a superstar for this France team. Soka has to hoist it. And that's what Skyte clears it, takes the bump and count the bucket. Early lead here for Lithuania, 2-1. And Natsukaite makes it 3-1. Milapi out to Mane. Has Soka on an island. Mane can't finish the pretty move, but Milapi comes up with the limousin. Conducting, she's driving it, taking it herself to the left hand. Fades away, gets a bump, but no call. Mane using her long arms to deflect passes. About a buck thirty has ticked off so far. Jumper no good for Mesconeta. Both of these teams have played a lot of hoops over these past few few days. Lithuania just came off of a nail biter less than an hour ago. Limousin at Le Boussine on skates. Little physical early on in this matchup. Both of these teams want it so bad, especially Guapo. 
That goes in and out for her. But Netsukaite gets the rebound. Out to Solka. Back to six in green. Looking at the ref saying, are you seeing these bumps? to La Bustone. And it moves on with the steal and foul drawn by Guapo. Heading to the charity stripe. France on the board, and they're saying that Mesconeta stepped out of bounds. So that's going to go back to France. Packed house here in the Clermont Ferrand. Stop for FIBA 3x3. Guapo tiptoeing the baseline, blows him to sleep, but oh my gosh, Le Buscane. Block that shot. Gets the turnover. Can't capitalize on that block. But, man, if we had a replay, I want to see that over and over. Great timing there by the Lithuanian center. Getting a little handsy. Foul count, three to two. Guapo drives left, stops, pops, kicks it out to Manet for two. Drains it from long range. Four, three lead for France. Solka driving baseline. Mila P stayed right with her, but it airmails it straight to Labuskene. Comes up short. Guapo has Soka on an island like the Bahamas and finishes. Guapo for one more point. Neveskaite can't get the fadeaway corner three to drop. And Mane is hurt. TV timeout in the books. 5-3 lead for France. Limousin has it at the top of the key. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Driving. Mismatch. She tries to step through. Tries to go off the glass. No, but Mila P cleans up the board like Windex and gets rewarded by a chance to go to the free throw line. Lithuania already with four fouls. Medical staff is paying attention to Manet on the sideline. Mila P gets that to drop. Three point lead for France. Two pointer off the mark for Mesconeta. Guapo goes for the reverse, gets it to drop. Steal by Guapo. Le Mouzon put on the Jets. Oh, came up short on the bunny. 
out to Nesakaita. She can hit that and does silence the crowd. Two point game. Limouzon sidestep two pointer off the mark. Solka really far away from the basket. Five seconds, four seconds, three, two. No good for Lithuania. That's a shot clock violation. Only a 12 second shot clock, so you can't be too far away from the basket as it's whittling down. Manet seems to be okay. She's back in the ball game, has her left hand wrapped up. We'll keep an eye on that as Milipi under the basket flips it up, rims out. Hit a shot there for the winner, but Manet, that hand seems to be okay. Drains it from deep. 9 5 lead for France, but Solka says take that and hold it. Manet heading to the free throw line, gets fouled on that drive. Five minutes, 14 seconds. This is the final for the Clermont-Ferrand stop of the women's series. Manet and Le Bousquene get tied up off of the screen. Coneta curl screen. They dump it inside to the post, and Mila P gets called for the reach in wrap around, trying to knock the ball away. Solka waiting for the play to develop, decides to take it herself with the hezi, and Guapo. Gets called for the hand check. We're already at five fouls apiece. France, when they were in the World Cup game against USA just, you know, last week, they had a lot of fouls and ended up having to be in the bonus. So hopefully can control the hand checks as Guapo draws the foul right there. Her and Solka are battling for a position. Gets it to go. 11-7 France. Nessa Kaita, she's going to shoot that. She was the leading scorer after day one with 26 points and 18 rebounds. She was shooting at it 33% from beyond the arc, but 20 attempts, by far the most attempts. So that is the scouting report as Manet gets the ball on the block. Guapo has it back out to Manet. She can hit it from distance. Buzzer sounds, and Solka fights for the board. Guapo with the defense. France is locked in. Zong cuts to the basket. Guapo gets it on the outside. Crosses, goes left. Blocked again by La Buscane. We need a compilation of all these blocks that she is sending out into the stands. Incredible defense by Lithuania. The 
moves on, drive into the basket, shuffle pass out to Mil Milapi. Back of the rim, Lithuania comes up with it. Nessa Kaite, mid range, in and out. Guapo gets a running start and gets fouled by Lebuskene. Going to the free throw line, 11-7. Time out on the floor. This is for all the marbles. France 11, Lithuania 7. Guapo, nearly perfect or perfect from the free throw line has been a big boost for France as Le Busquene gets the layup to go. Limousin out to Guapo beyond the arc. She decides to pull the trigger and fires. 15-8 France running away with it. Lithuania has not been able to match the intensity and three-level scoring of France right now. Soka throws up a wild pass. And that's a Kaite. Fighting for it. This is the finals. You got to give it all you got. Take it's both of those to go. The deficit is now five for Lithuania and a turnover by France. Three minutes on the clock. Soka. Fight for the rebound, Nesakaite. <laughs> it is getting physical under the basket, ladies and gentlemen. And they make up. All's fair in competition. Gold at the 2022 World Cup. Took up silver in this most recent 2023 World Cup, but still punched their ticket to the Olympic qualifying tournament. So this is a solid, solid women's 3x3 team, but they're trying to get it going on the women's series. See if they can win their first women's series stop in 2023. Both of these teams it would be their first win. 
Capo tried to flip it under the defender's arm. Sulka had the baseline but decides to pull it out. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Goes to Nessa Kaisa in the middle, and that drops in. 15-11 lead for France. Lithuania just chipping down at it. Oh, great block by Nessa Kaite. Nessa Kaite draws the foul on Mane. More free throws to come for Lithuania. Seems to be a part of their game plan. Perfect from the free throw line. Only down by two. France needs a bucket here. Limozon put on the Jets and gets to the rim. Left handed lay is good. Three point lead. Solka driving left hand, stops, pops, flips it up. No. Limozon out to Milapi. Swings it over to Manet. Pulls from two. Oh. 18 13. France lead. The crowd is going wild. Big shot there by Manet. France desperately needed that as Lithuania is creeping up. But Nessa Kaite shoots for two. No good. Great defense by Guapo to shut down Mesconeta. Soka with seven seconds on the shot clock. And Sokaita can't break free from Limousin. She draws the foul and is headed back to the free throw line. Two shots, and Sakaita remains perfect from the free throw line. This has been a lot of the contribution from Lithuania's points here at the charity strike. Gets both to go. France holding to a three-point lead. Manet gets called for the offensive foul. Wow. Zolka to take the ball out. The fouls remaining an issue for France. That's a Kaite can't. The crowd is really a part of these foul calls. And Manet headed to the free throw line. Had that hand wrapped up, but it has not affected her shooting whatsoever. 19-15, France only a few points away from winning. This Claremont Ferrand stop. Lithuania needing some buckets quick and in a hurry, but Manet says, I like those cookies. Took it away from Lithuania, one point away for France to win it all. That's a Kaite with three seconds left on the shot clock. Guapo gets the block. Back of the rim, Lithuania still fighting for it and that's going to be France ball and they won a timeout. 56 seconds left, five point lead for France. 
This is it, the final game of the day. Can France remain perfect and win the final? Tries to go back door to Limousin. Solka. Driving left handed, really took her time and won. Oh, this is getting interesting. France in the bonus. Count the bucket. Two shots here. And the ball. Oh my goodness. Huge free throws for Solka. Get them both. Down by two, 45 seconds left. If Lithuania gets a two-pointer here, we have a tie game at 20. Down screen for their shooter. Netsukai Tink throws it. 20, 20, 30 seconds left. Lemozon doesn't matter. Lemozon finishes it for France. This is her second, possibly third, game winner of this tournament. Wow. France are your Clermont Ferrand Women's Series 3x3 champions. What a hard fought battle. Lithuania came back, made it interesting, but France is Experience and a little bit of the hometown crowd really helped them will them to victory. Guapo, great showing in the final game. Manet came up huge from beyond the arc. And Limousin putting the finishing touch on an incredible two-day extravaganza. Mila P, I'm really impressed by her crashing of the boards. That helped them tremendously. France are your winners for this 3x3 Clermont Ferrand stop. We are going to see them get presented with their Czech celebration. And we're going to see who the MVP is of this stop.
gets MVP. This is extra special because she said that this is one of the first places that she's played basketball in an Instagram post. She was so excited that Clément Ferrand was introduced in the women's 3x3 circuit. So this is extra special for her to get this MVP trophy in her hometown. Give it up for Guapo. She killed it and she really put her team on her back in this last final game. Was able to score from two, was able to get a lot of defensive shots, and then as well as her classic reverse layup. Her teammates cheering her on as France is the winner and Guapo is the MVP of this Clermont Ferrand stop. France team played hard every single match, went undefeated, had an overtime win, and then the final and finale goes down to the last bucket. France, again, coming off that silver medal in the World Cup, this team was able to add a Women's Series stop title to their repertoire. The crowd really came out to support this team as well, and they are fired up. That's it for us for the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Thank you so much for hanging out. What an incredible two days of hoops it has been. France are your title champions as they invite their coaches out to celebrate with them. It was a great showing by France's U24 team as well. Incredible, incredible. I'll see you next time for the Women's Series 3x3 stop. Thanks again for hanging out with us and have a great rest of your day.